Well, hello there, YouTubers. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Lasco Digital Ceramic Tower Heater. So it has a um, multi-function remote control. It requires two AAA batteries. And it claims to have uh, easy-to-use comfort select controls. It has a uh, auto shut-off timer and two quiet settings. The maximum 1,500 watts for the US fully assembled what else nothing else so we're gonna be looking at how well how well it works and um, how loud it is but um, if loudness is a problem you shouldn't worry about it because um, this does have a uh, two quiet heat settings so let's open it up And if we look at the front, we have the control buttons. On the sides, there's nothing. And even though this is such a big device, that's about the, the heater opening is just this amount. On the top, there is nothing. And here's the remote. So it's unwrapped. And the remote goes here. Let's plug it in and see how it works. Okay, so there are six buttons over here, and there are six over here. So they basically do the same thing. This is power. This lets you select high or low. This is the timer. This is oscillation. And this is temperature up and temperature down. So there is no fan mode. So that's kind of notab noticeable. Notable, I should say. There are two things that are uh, making this heater different than my DeLonghi um, that I bought several years ago. And, and one is that it doesn't have a fan mode. And two, it doesn't have a filter. So we're going to turn it on and we're going to compare the noise level to this one right here. And let's see which one is quieter. So I'm going to turn it on. So that's high. And now let's do this one. Okay, now let's do low setting. So let's um, pick low. That's low setting. That's low setting again. Okay, so I am noticing that it doesn't really matter if you put it on high or low. The fan speed is actually the same. So the noise level is the same. And the same thing goes for this one. The only thing that's changing is the heat setting, not the fan speed. So what you hear is um, what you get. So do I consider this to be quiet? See, as you can see, there's no change in in sound level. High. Yeah, that's just the heat setting. So, I, I would say it's kind of quiet, 
but it's not nearly as quiet as my um, mainstays heater. So this is the mainstays heater. So I would say this is the king of quietness because if we compare it, Now let's look at this one. You can barely hear anything. See that's off right there. That's on. But if you were to turn on this one over here, you'll hear the difference. Let me turn it off. Turn this one on. Okay, so this is the remote right here, and like I said, it's six buttons over here, and there are six over here, so there's bas they're basically doing the same thing. You can turn it on. You can change the heat setting. For example, you can make it to low you can adjust the temperature and you can do the timer I'm not going to be testing the timer because that's something that doesn't interest me and uh, the oscillation is like this so let's um so now it's move it's going to be moving left and right left and right Let's see the distance for the remote. Let's see how far it can detect the signal. So I'm going to go to the other side of the room and let's see if we can turn it on. Okay, so we are way down here on the other side of the room. So let's try to turn it on. So it turns on. So it has a good range with the new batteries. Let's turn it off. And uh, the oscillation is like this. So let's um. So now it's move. It's gonna be moving left and right, left and right. It has a very narrow angle of oscillation, as you can see. So the DeLonghi heater that I had had a more wide angle of oscillation. Not that I care about that because I never use it. I'm just demonstrating it for this video. So let's um let's look at the timer anyway. You get you get zero hours, one hour, two hours, three hours. So I guess the maximum is eight hours. So, so, so far everything seems good about this. It doesn't smell bad. Um, I do have some heaters that smell real bad, but this one smells normal. Um, as far as quietness, I would, I would give it, um, I would say it's intermediate loud. So it wouldn't affect me, but if you're, if you want real quietness, um, this is a good option right here. This is very quiet. I mean, right now we're very close to it, so you can hear something, but this is actually very quiet. And if you want absolute quietness, you'll have to go for an oiled radiator heater, which I don't have, so I can't demonstrate that. Um, let's, um, let's keep talking about this. So another cool thing that I notice about this heater is that um, the display right here, 
it's showing you the temperature around here not the settings on the on the device because the previous um, tower heater that I had would only show you the 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 settings for the device not the temperature for example I have it set to to 72 I can set it to 69 so it's set to 69 but if you wait it'll tell you the temperature which is 76 so it's kind of working like a thermometer so it says 76 over here and over here it's 77 so they're one degree off so we don't know which one's the one that's telling you the exact temperature but this is cool that it's working as a thermometer so it's telling you the ambient temperature not necessarily the thermostat settings because the thermostat settings is 69 And um, another cool thing that I notice about this heater is that it's kind of conical. And the reason I think the reason why they did that was to make the center of gravity to the to the bottom so that it doesn't tilt so easily. Okay, so another cool thing about um, having a remote control function on a heater is that if you do not want to have this extra remote control lying around in your bedroom or in the, your living room, you don't have to. All you have to do is program its functions into your universal remote if you have one and you'll be able to control your heater from your universal remote which also controls your TV and your um, streaming box and audio system and whatever else you have on it. So I have already done the programming and I'm just going to demonstrate you. I'm going to demonstrate to you how this would work. So you just... There you have it. So it's fairly simple. And um, you don't have to have a, you don't have to buy those batteries or you don't have to do anything extra. You just put it in here and it'll be great. Okay, folks, so we have reached the end of this review. And like I said, this is a great device. I absolutely love it. I do recommend it. I give it a four star out of five. And um, the reason why I give it a four star out of five is because it does not have a filter on the back like the DeLonghi tower heater and also it does not have a fan function a fan only function like the DeLonghi tower heater has a fan only function so everything else is great it's perfect I love the fact that it has this remote and um, you can put the remote back here if you like that and you can program it into your universal remote if you want to. So that's great. And that's basically the only thing that's missing, the fan function. So thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up.